everyone welcome back today we want to take a look at a neo self-driving video i want to do sort of like a reaction video on this the neo autonomous driving and swapping on highway so this video was uploaded on youtube by rands rands youtube channel actually a really good youtube channel talks a lot about neo vehicles so i found a clip i'm not going to play the entire video because i don't have permission but i found a clip of this you know just a short two minute clip found this on twitter so we want to check this out it's the car is driving itself the battery swapping is all being done by itself absolutely incredible piece of technology so let's check this out this is what it looks like now he has a hand on the steering he takes his hand off the steering let's see what happens so the car is completely driving itself right now what i really found you know quite impressive is the map on the display the ui okay. for us so you have to be aware that i'm not really talking into the handling of the vehicle it's everything is automatic right now wow so the car is basically driving itself into this square box and it does itself the battery swap. Wow. So I mean, a, you know, as a, as a driver, basically you are inside of the vehicle just like a passenger. You don't have to bother the uh, the technology. By itself. The technology is incredible. This technology is truly incredible what Neo is doing. I'm telling you. So the car, the vehicle is going to continue during by itself. I mean, this is, this is just, it's leaving me speechless. It's just going to rejoin the highway. Very good. Very impressed. I'm more than impressed. Come on now. I am more than impressed. I am beyond impressed. So there is another video I want to check out. This is a Envu battery swapping experience. The Envu L60 doing a battery swap, generation 4 battery swap station, this time improved to 2.5 minutes, and you can see it in real time. Nothing will beat this, even if it combines Tesla superchargers to ultra supercharger. Great tweet, by the way, great tweet. But what I really found interesting was, you know, I've said for a, for a long time, the fact that the Envu vehicles will also be able to use Neo technology is revolutionary. It's incredible. So you can see the, the, the station is adjusting the car to swap out the battery. Notice that there's a display at the top of the station telling you the, how long you've got left for the battery to be swapped. Oh my goodness. This is going to change a lot. So this is what it looks like as the battery is being swapped out. So that's the battery being removed. That's the battery that hasn't been charged. And there you have it. New battery. New battery is in. The car is lowered down. I mean, I mean, damn. And the car does this on its own. It drives in, drives out on its own. Look at the time. Two minutes, 30 seconds. Truly incredible i mean what more can be said about the the advancements that they're making in you know battery swapping technology the advancements that they're making in self-driving technology i mean truly truly incredible as this person was asking was it in the eu when and where this comment highlighted that it's in norway germany and holland so and Neo is said to be focusing on those key areas right now. They're like putting a pause on Neo development and expansion into Europe. At the moment right now, I just think they want to they want to work on what they already have and improve what they already have and continue growing where they are already. And to be honest, I'm hoping that we get some news about Neo building a factory in Europe. You know, there's there's been nothing really said about this, but at this moment it is very much necessary. And the sooner they get this done is the better. With them pausing expansion into Europe, it can only be for one long-term strategic reason, and that is to build a factory there. Just look at that thing. And you know, when I'm looking at this car, I'm really starting to understand that this is a serious Tesla competitor.
it is a serious competitor and it's it's a similar size to the Polestar 4 and people always say the Polestar 4 is not an SUV well the more Polestar 4s you see on the road the more you're going to understand that it has a very similar size and similar shape to this wouldn't you class this as a SUV coupe i mean it's what it's what automotive brands are doing right now they're creating coupe SUVs in the form of a sedan but they're making it bigger that's what they're doing and Tesla helped to create this problem. Tesla helped to create this problem. Let's be, let's, let's admit, they did. But it is what automotive brands are doing right now, seriously. Take a look at the Aldi Q4, the Sportback. You know, again, it's got the shape of a sedan, but it's just bigger and higher off the ground. And that could classify it as an SUV. And the more I see them is the more I remember about the Polestar 4 that, hey, you know, look at this thing. It's just an absolute beast, an absolute unit, you know. So this is the way automotive brands are going. This is the new thing to do these days. And I've seen the Polestar 4 in person. And I can honestly say, interior-wise, it's got the space of, an, of a small SUV, which is very impressive. So what Neo's doing with Envu is completely genius, if I'm being completely honest. It is truly, truly genius. It is much, much needed. Now, it's not the first time I've seen a Neo vehicle drive in itself. I've seen it before, but I didn't get to react to that famous video that I saw. And I can't find that video for some reason. So now I'm taking every opportunity to react to these Neo self-driving car videos because they're truly incredible. By the way, just a little update. The new scheme for making billing more dependent on the amount of power added, which may help promote the use of battery swap service compared to previous fixed service fees plus... A power charge so neo today released a new price and plan for its battery swap service in china marking the third major change to the service since it became available for car owners who need to pay use the service the latest charging scheme single battery swap electric plus service charge added power if the user add less than 20 kilowatt of power through the battery swap service then the service fee will be charged based on the 20 kilowatt per hour while the electricity fee will be calculated based on the actual amount of power added. So they're making a few changes. Now, if you live in China, you know, let me know how how this works. I know YouTube is not available in China, but, you know, if if um, if you know anyone who lives in China or if you own a new vehicle, let me know. Let me know if this does affect you and how it and how it affects you. Now, keep in mind the Neo Envu L60 launch, it's coming up in Beijing in September the 19th. That's going to be huge. And a lot of Neo fans are really excited about this because they know this car will be selling very, very well. So as the article is stating, the first model is just days away from hitting the market. And this is big because it's got a lot of people excited for this brand. And you know, they're they're really gonna they're really gonna build this brand into the medium that it is for the right kind of people who want to buy this type of vehicle it's a bit more affordable nice and roomy neo technology within that vehicle it's a neo it's a neo car but the brand is on vu listen i hope you enjoyed this video subscribe leave a comment leave a like to join the community and i will see you in our next video peace